backstage at TEDx Orange Coast, and I am here with Anne Marie Du Lebon. Anne Marie is actually the survivor of a brutal attack, and she decided to change her life and go do the Iron Man, believe it or not. She's also a TEDx speaker, and we have the honor of talking with her today. Thank you so much for coming back Thank and you. talking with us. Great so, to be here. If I can, I don't want to take you too far back, um, but I'd like to hear a little bit about what caused you to decide to go ahead and do the Iron Man. You know, I had been thinking about it for about 10 years and kept ignoring that inner voice telling me to do it. But because of the attack, I still harbored some negative thought processes. And after talking to a few other Ironmen who had finished the race, I realized the Ironman, besides a very physical race, it's probably more of a mental race. My goal was to see if I could discipline my body to finish the race in less than 17 hours but also to discipline my mind to see if I could do it without one negative thought. Yeah. That was what pushed me into it. And so it took me a year of training, discipline the body and the mind to get to that point. So you turned it from a challenge to a cathartic process yes. at the same time. Yes, that's right. Because the, the race itself is, I don't are you familiar with the distance of an Ironman? Not exactly, no. no. It starts with a, a 2.4 mile swim, and then a 112 mile bike ride, and then we run a full marathon, 26.2 miles. So I thought, could I put my body through such physical intense experience without stopping? We have 17 hours to finish the course and really not have a negative thought through the process. And it was it was a great day. It sounds like it. I mean, that yes. that even for a full lifelong sports enthusiast would be a hell of an achievement but for somebody who just decided I'm gonna go do this I mean that is an amazing thing to do yes um, so tell me um, what was it like to walk out on stage and do TEDx well I have to say that getting ready for TEDx was probably more intense than getting ready for the Ironman I'll <laughs> take an Ironman any day uh, I shouldn't say it that way but it's, it is a mental challenge, and you want to make sure your story is right mm -hmm. and that it can relate to people. So it, it was a great experience. I loved it. Everyone that participated, that helped me on the, on the way, were just priceless to me. I feel like I have a, a family and everyone that I've met here. It's been a wonderful experience. Well, and it is great because, I mean, there aren't that many people that will ever be invited to do it, and you've got to share it with those people. So it's something right. you get to carry forward. It's another victory, I guess you could another say, right? Another victory, and It's another yes. victory for you, so. And more than anything, I hope that when people hear my story, if they can, you know, uh, relate to it on some level, that they realize that they can overcome these challenges, that they're never too old to become who they were meant to be because I didn't do the Iron Man until I was 49 mm -hmm. and that you can be peaceful and powerful at the same time. So many people think of power and they think of it as physical brute force which yes, you know, to do an Iron Man you need to be physically strong but it's also mentally powerful and by that I mean that you can really decide how you are thinking right. as opposed to just reacting what's being thrown to you. So as somebody who works pretty closely with uh, the Crime Survivors Council here in Orange County, I'm also the chairman of the Orange County Crime Stopper, so I kind of have to ask the, the question, which is, um, how far back did, did your, your victimization go? Because, I mean, it, it's a pretty rough decision to, to decide you're going to make it your history, become a yes. survivor. So, yeah. um, like I said, I didn't want to dig in, but, I, but for those that are watching, this is a decision you made to make it your history. Um, so it's important for us to know you're, you're becoming a survivor. Mm -hmm. So can I ask, how far back did the victimization go? I start, it happened when I was 19. Okay. And that was part of my problem that I explained in the TED Talk is that I had wanted to report it, but I didn't. I was ashamed and all the other negative emotions that go with it. And because I didn't fully speak up about it, I you know, let myself down. And you carry it with you for carry a Carry it with time. it. It's 30 years. Yeah. 30 years, yeah. And that's why it's... And I would just encourage anyone that has been victimized in any way to find justice. However, you know, speak up about it. Find someone that they can talk to, report what has happened. And, and 
that I think will give them peace and closure in the long run. Right. right. Well, congratulations on you for, for your success in doing the Thank Iron you. Man, and congratulations on your TEDx. Thank you. And thank you for taking the time to talk with us. Great to be here.